Let's check it out. Check it out. So, uh, Safari. Now, uh, Safari has made the news recently only because the only reason why he's relevant. I mean, he's relevant because he's Nicki Minaj's ex ex boyfriend, which means the boyfriend before her last ex boyfriend, which is Meek Mill. Now, he's still riding on and hanging on to those coattails, understandably why. He's on Love and Hip Hop. I don't personally watch it. Again, that's his only claim to fame. He's dropped music. His music ain't really hitting like it probably should be, given the fact that he's always claimed he wrote for Nicki Minaj. Now, after hearing his music, I really am in strong belief that Safari had to have written all the whack songs for Nicki Minaj because I just can't hear him pitting any hits. He definitely ain't write the monster verse. He ain't write Chirac. He ain't write most of the shit that I kind of like, okay? Songs like Massive Attack, I will probably say he wrote that shit, okay? Now, he's never said what he wrote and what he didn't write, but he still maintains he deserves some money. So he's going on with this lawsuit, recently did an interview with Wendy about it. However, uh, he has some strong comments after Nicki Minaj released three tracks last night, one with Drake and Wayne called No Frauds, and then she dropped another track by herself, which is called Regret in Your Tears, okay? And also another track with Wayne called Change It, okay? Now, this is what Safari hopped on Twitter and said. He said, stop letting these producers come and give you structured songs that don't sound like you, then add a 12-bar rap to it. The hardest shit was never tainted by anyone else. Take it how y'all want it, okay? Now, of course, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I gotta say Safari seems to be wanting that old thing back. All right. I mean, he has a lot of opinion. He feels that somehow when he was working with Nicki, her music was better. Again, I don't know what the fuck he wrote, right? And I can't see the resemblance with his music with anything being great. So I don't know. However, what is he talking about, right? Now, when I listen to those songs, some of the songs don't sound like Nicki, all right? Clearly, she's using maybe someone who wrote a hook for her, who may have gave, given her a song. I believe that entire Regretting Your Ears song was probably a song meant for Rihanna, okay? Has a lot of Party Next Door influence in it. People are saying there's someone else called, like, Stara that they probably helped out writing the song. But it didn't feel like Nikki when I heard it, okay? It, of course, didn't sound too foreign either because she's Caribbean. The song has a Caribbean vibe, right? And I do think it's a hit. However, it didn't sound like something Nikki would write. Right, okay, it actually sounded very much like Party Next Door, and again, I mean, he pretty much all but confirmed this, because if you checked out what he liked on Twitter, he's pretty much liking shit, basically insinuating, man, I'm writing for these motherfuckers out here, he liked a, a tweet that said, awaits for Party Next Door reference track, and that was a tweet that actually tweeted out the Regret in Your Tears song, he also liked a tweet that says, so everybody gonna ride Party Next Door coattail to a number one, and then somebody says, your ghostwriting does not go unnoticed, my brother, real fans still hear you, and also somebody says, also, Party Next Door is the most underrated dude on the planet, one of the best right now, and somebody else says, I hope they pay you good money for them songs, bro. You keep saving people, okay? Now, does that confirm he wrote any of those songs? No. But does it kind of allude to the fact that he wrote some shit? Obviously. Now there's another person, Stara. I, again, I don't know who that person is too much. Maybe I have to get a little bit more into their music and look at their penmanship to be able to tell the difference. However... Clearly, some of them songs ain't sound like Nicki, okay? Again, I'm not going to say anything with the bars. And this is where she gets a pass because this is not even to say, yo, Nicki's using writers because if she used the writer for the Regretting Your Tears song, it's fine. It's a song that's really about singing. It's about mood. It's about tempo. There's nothing about bars in it, really. So if she used a songwriter to come up with that, it's the same thing, which, which I've never penalized Drake for using a songwriter or using Magic Jordan to come up with, hold on, we're going home. It's not rap, okay? And again, this whole thing about ghostwriting or using or utilizing a writer only comes into play when you're actually talking about bars. Now, if those bars that she aimed at Remy were to be found out to be written by somebody else, then it would be a big problem. But this means nothing. However, according to Safari, he didn't feel how like she's just using structured songs. Again, man, I, I, I'm sorry to tell y'all about y'all favorite entertainers. These people who've been in the game, like, I want to say almost eight plus years, they're doing a million things. They Listen, how much time do you think they really have to create? All right? Not only that, they become formulaic, and they honestly almost get like a creative block, okay? Which, that's why they utilize other people and other people's ideas to get themselves motivated and also to get new ideas that they could build on, all right? They build on other people's ideas. So it's not foreign that she's using a writer for for maybe a couple of songs, and we don't know if she is, but it looks like she is. 
However, I don't see a problem with it. Okay, Safari, bro, I'm telling you, man, you need to get some hits on your goddamn self, though. I got to be honest with you, bro. You got to get some hits for yourself, or you got to come out with some proof of you writing MonsterVerse. One or the other, because right now, it's looking real spooky for you, all right? Ken Carmel, I'll switch you guys. Like them and subscribe. If Nikki didn't write, um, say she didn't write the motherfucking Regret Your Tears song. That's a sing-songy type of shit. Again, not much bars. There's not bars to it, right? It's like a singing type of record. Do we care? I don't care, okay? I actually think it just highlights how some songwriters who are behind the curtains, they are so influential in what we listen to, party to, Okay, and what songs actually tug at our heartstrings. So I got to say, and that's why I've always saluted to um, Party Next Door. Maybe he's just not a, a nigga who, who is meant to have the limelight. However, his pen game is immaculate. Salute to him for that. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them and subscribe to Woodjack Academics. I'm